New course, free access, get Kanban organized. Introduction to Kanban boards for teams and uh, individual projects. Master your tasks from to do to done. And uh, it's that time of year when I think everybody is just trying to get through their task lists, trying to get finished. And a couple of the principles I teach in the course, uh, let me give you three of them. Number one, limit work in progress. So in Kanban, there's a, a middle section on your uh, Kanban board, and I teach you all of this in the course. Uh, but you want to limit the number of tasks that you put into that middle section, which is about which tasks are in progress. So you'll move tasks from a backlog onto a to-do list and then they'll be in progress in the middle and then done on the far side. So limit work in progress. Don't have too much on the go. You won't be able to focus and you'll be demotivated. And what they're trying to avoid in uh, teams is this uh, culture of nearly done. So there's lots of things happening and all of them are nearly done, but very few of them are actually going into the, into the done column. Then I teach a principle called cadence. And cadence is not speed. Cadence is a rhythm. It's a regular, repetitive, consistent focus on reviewing your Kanban board, either as an individual, if it's up on a whiteboard at home, or in an online team meeting once a week. I give a demo of that in the course. Or if you're in the office, many of us are still in lockdowns and people are working remotely. But if you are in the office and you are meeting as a team, then there'll be an area where you maintain your Kanban board. It could be um, at your university, if you're working in a syndicate or as part of a project. And on a regular basis, Tuesday morning, nine o'clock, you would review that board uh, in a sort of a stand-up meeting. And, and that's cadence, is, is that regular repetition of um, reviewing the Kanban board. And I teach a little bit more about that course um, in the course as well. And then a very important principle um, is how you use the Kanban board with swim lanes and you might actually want to have horizontal rows uh, that are specific to work streams or people or themes in your own individual project so you can have a lot of different tasks and then in a certain row along the Kanban board is um, a specific type of task or specific work stream or specific individual or specific aspect of your personal project in the course I teach you to keep it simple uh, but I do suggest that you can use colored stickies maybe to denote specific people or if you're in a team just write the name of the person on the Kanban card which is what actually goes up um, onto the board. So new course, promotional free link in the description. I've uh, given you some introduction to some of the key concepts. There's a quiz, there's an assignment you will get going on a Kanban board uh, in the course itself. By the time you finish you'll have set up a Kanban board for yourself, take you through demonstrations on Trello, on Jira, I demonstrate how you would run an online meeting and update your Kanban board with the rest of your team. And there is a full uh, demonstration and explanation of how Kanban boards work on a physical version. And I take you through setting that up from scratch and then maintaining it on a regular basis. So go check it out. Free link in the description.